Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you tonight? I have a new toy. A needing work, but it works all right. Hoover Concept One, an American machine. I swapped this with a fellow collector. I gave him the Centertronic System 2 that I had so many issues with. Um, broken electric intensity, Lux 412 upright, and a Mila S228i. And he gave me this. The one of those power drive Electrolux Bagnus uprights and Electrolux 560. But this is the most exciting concept one. It has its issues. When he got it, he got it over 20 years ago and it came from a pub and the handle was smashed. So it has a, it works quite well, a Hoover Junior U1100 handle fitted. And it's an early U1100 handle because it would have had the cord hook that breaks. He's even extended the wires apparently and wired the switch up properly. The I don't know if this is the original bag holding spring. I don't know much about these at all. So what we'll do is, because it's getting a bit late, we'll do the running video first and then we'll have a look around it in some more details and see what it is really like. It works very well though. So I have the potato camera set up. It's recording at the minute but I'll cut all that out. Let's take out the cable. Out this far before. Gosh, that's very long, isn't it? Plug it in. Mm. Come on. And give it a go. Oh, no. There we go. Marvellous. So there we go, it works astonishingly well, even these track marks in our utterly lacquered carpet. 
So, this is filthy. Oh, let's just take that off. It is a bit filthy. It does need some love. That's all right though, although it does slow down a little bit, but it still takes it. Can't do this one-handed. Come on, I don't know, I presume you can retension the cable. Yeah, let's have a look at it. We'll start with the bag. The vinyl bag isn't bad, I'll be honest. It's a little bit popped up, but it'll be fine. Certainly it's been in the garage for decades. It's remarkably clean. There's the bag. It's full of lovely grit. Might have to tip that out one day and use it, because I'm not going to be firm this straight away. But inside is very clean. Only use Hoover Type A. Well, H4 bags look like they'll fit perfectly fine, so that's good. Don't know how one takes this off. There might be some screws under it. I don't know. I'll put that back in a minute. So yes, the handle, as we mentioned, I've no idea if you can still get... Apparently this bit's fine. It's that bit. The handle's different than it is from the pictures I've seen, so I'll have to have a look at that. The writing's a little bit worn off there. The sticker is ruined, but I'm not going to be too worried about that. It's nice to have it at all. Made it in the USA. It's also a little bit faded, as you can see from the original colour. Maybe one day I shall try Retro Bright. Not yet, though. And this won't be the first one I do. I'm not that silly. Moving down, the brush roll bearings were seized when he brought it over. So we had them apart. I filled them full of lithium grease. And now it works fine. The brushes, they seem a little bit worn. As in, they're not terribly stuck out. They're also very soft. Wow, they're soft. But it seems to do all right out of it. So I won't be too upset. It's in remarkable condition otherwise, though, apart from being utterly filthy. It's very good. Let's have a look at the rating plate, which is under here. Oops. There we go. So it's a U4201 from February 1980. 240 volts. Oh, that's not dirt. That's where the, that dirt? That's where the stickers marked. That'll do. I won't go to that. So yes, 360 to 410 watts or 310 to 360. Don't quite know which one of those. Ah, 240. Where, where 240 volts? So it'd be 360 to 420. Fair enough. Made in the USA. So this would be a North Canton machine? Ohio? Yeah, it's very nice indeed. Very happy to have this. Because as a collector, I can't say I've ever really wanted one before. But as a UK collector, I know how rare these are. These really aren't very popular over here at all. In fact, I'm going to get... I did a wash. I washed all my dirty, scrappy cloths. And they're still a bit damp, so... I might be able to just give it a wipe down just to make it look a little bit more presentable. Obviously, if we get a full refurb at some point, whether I can get a new handle for it and... Probably won't get a brush roll. I've found a thread on the vacuum land forum earlier from a few years ago that said that brush rolls are very rare so I can't imagine that situation has improved at all over the preceding years so I won't bother with a brush roll but if I can get a handle that would be quite nice I probably won't get a sticker I might be able to get one made or I just, I just won't bother too much I'll be honest it's, it's, it's not the worst thing to not have okay that's coming up a little bit better get the storage dirt off it is starting to fade very oddly so i'm not going to retro my these 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 don't have a headlight do they i don't think so so yeah there we go that looks a million times better already just with a wipe over with a damp cloth. So, 
thank you very much for watching this very exciting video of a machine that I didn't know I had. No, let me start again. A machine that I didn't know I wanted, but now I have it. I can't quite believe I haven't... I've lived without it for so long. It's very much like a turbo power. And apparently it takes turbo power motor bearings, so... That should be... That's a bit of a sticker residue there. So hopefully that should be quite simple to well, get it apart, put some new bearings on it, which should help it immensely. There we go. Well, who the concept won? From America, I've only got, I haven't got many American machines. I've got a celebrity, the orange celebrity that made its way over here. I had a Ranger, but I haven't got a Ranger anymore. I sold that a few years ago now. So yeah, I've got the Hoover Concept 1. A celebrity. Oh, turbo light. I've got a turbo light. So yeah, three US packs. I have to do what I basically didn't do, an American one. American themed video by next 4th of July. I might have done, I might have got around to doing them all then, but... I probably won't. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.